Okay, so I've already started um, getting these pots ready to repot up my uh, my tomatoes. I have some butternut squash, some green pepper, and one jalapeno, and some poblanos. They are in desperate need of repotting, so this is what I'm going to do. It's too hot in Texas right now, in my opinion, to put them out, so I'm still going to wait. I'm going to keep them inside under the grow lamps. That's what I'm doing right now. As you can see right here is one of my tomatoes and he is in major need of a repotting. So I'm gonna stick him, I'm gonna stick him in this one because I want him to go real deep. Uh, come on dude, you can get out here. Come on. Gotta be careful. Alright, there we go. Got a decent root system. I'm gonna pull off this and this because I am going to pot him pretty deep. Pot him all the way down. Bring him all, bring all this dirt. I'm going to just grab one of these. Bring it all the way up. I mean, I could have planted him even deeper than this. Could have gone all the way up to here but i don't have a big enough pot for that so this is what he's getting i think he'll be okay and we're like boom one tomato down number one okay i gotta be careful man. this thing works. all right number two i've got actually got two tomato plants in here uh, they should have been separated as you can see there's one that's kind of suffering because I didn't separate them I'm gonna separate them now better late than never get these guys in their own little I think I want to oh look they got my root system too I feel like I want to start going with um uh, soil blocks okay. hopefully these guys come on, won't get upset with me for totally messing with them all right get him way down in here and get him load it up back fill him up I, I refilled these pots in the bottom so I would be a little bit quicker and easier but I'm just using them to get these guys going and I'll just fill them up again all right that looks good and I wet this soil down I put some uh, fertilizer in and got it wet so I can just get them in here and not have to worry about um, watering the soil this way I know it's watered all the way down to the uh, to the bottom. I'm not worried about them getting any water. Get going on this. This one, the smaller one, I'm really potting up high, deep, whatever you want to call it, because I can because he's so little. So he's getting a good deep planting. And I'll just grow some more roots all along his stem. Hey, Get out of there, Mansion. So, yeah. I know my head's cut off, but whatever. I don't know if I can. Let me see if I can adjust that and make it so you can actually see my head. Look out, dude. It's a little bit better. You can see my head now, kind of, mostly. And, uh, but this guy is really, I'll show you in a second. I got him really potted deep. You can see how deep I got him without ruining anything. 
because he was smaller, I could get him deeper. All right, now I've got a bunch of pots that don't have any pot, any soil in them. All right. Put some soil in here. All right, let's see who we're going to pot up next. We got some butternut squash. It's already starting to, excuse me, Manji, it's already starting to put off some blossoms. Um, like I said, probably should be going out into the ground. I don't know that much about if it's the right time. Ooh, look at all those roots. That's a lot of roots. Um, I don't know if this is the right time for the butternut squash. I read that it was where I live, but we'll see. Um, right now it's so hot <clears throat> outside still in Texas. It's 100 plus degrees. It's been 100 plus degrees for at least a month and it looks like it's gonna be that, that hot for the rest of this month. And uh, so I'm hesitant to put anything out there because I haven't put up any kind of a shade cloth. I have one. But I have no means of getting it in place. Let me see. All right, there's a butternut squash. Oh, there's one butternut squash. All right, let's get rid of these. These. Oopsie. Now, I could be wearing gloves for all this, but I just like to get my hands dirty. Look out, boy. Get another butternut squash. Actually, I think these are honey nut squash. Look at this guy. He's looking for some place that grow his tendrils. Um, okay. Put you over here. Get you out of this pot. Again, really good roots. Just don't want to break any of these stems while I'm getting them potted up. Backfill in here. You know, I'm just learning about all this stuff and for the most part, I'm trying to figure out when's a good time to put things in and kind of just like going on a wing and a prayer and hoping that I'm putting them in at the right time and I'm not messing it up, but I'm going on the, uh, this is this is my uh, train of thought. It's like, I'm not exactly sure if, it, if it's supposed to go in right now, but it has a better chance of uh, germinate, germinating and becoming what it's supposed to become. Rolling into some butternut squash more if I try it out now than if I don't do it, right? So that's where I'm at. I'm at the point where I'm just like, okay, just whack it in. Woo just whack it in and see what becomes of it. This guy didn't grow as much as the other two did, but he's definitely looking good. Um, he was in the back. He still has a great root system. Can you see that? I mean, I think all these guys are heading towards being root bound. They've been they've been in those little pots way, way too long. This one's gonna need a longer. I've stolen from all these pots. Yeah, this guy's gonna need a ton more to get in here and get backfilled. Huh. So what I'm planning on right now for a fall garden is I've got the tomato. I don't have as many tomatoes as I want, but hopefully they'll produce and do good. So I've got three tomato plants and I've got um, three honey nut squash plants. Let's see. Just a little bit more over here, I think. Three honey nut squash plants. And um, I'm gonna have to get another tray for those. 
300 ounce squash, and I need more dirt in here. Hold on a second. tend to do is I mix up in a bucket my potting medium and some fertilized water and uh, that way it's already kind of moistened and uh, yeah I mean I, I feel like it's a good way to do it but who knows what do I know? I'm just a newbie. I'm just a newbie doing my best to get it going and get everything. All right, now I know what these are. I don't have to tag them or anything. I know that these two guys in the green pots, I know for sure are bell peppers. So I put them in the green pot and I was like, they're bell peppers. Out you go, come on, you can do it. So, yeah. So I put these bell pepper in there. And then this one, oh man, I think this guy's got some uh, root rot. It looks like his stem is like rotting out. I don't know that he'll survive. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to pot them up anyway and just kind of, maybe I'll pot them up higher. I don't know if that works on peppers or not, but we're going to give it a go and hopefully he'll survive. But I like bell peppers, but of all the peppers that I have that I would really like to see survive, I really want to see the... Uh, Jalapenos and the poblano will survive. Let me squash it out so you can see me. So if, if I lose this guy, I, hey, hey, don't need that dirt. If I lose this guy, I think I'll be okay. I'm not gonna cry over it. I mean, I'd rather not lose any of it because I feel like my fall garden is gonna be quite minimal. But uh, if I had to lose one of the peppers, I would assume it'd be the bell pepper. This guy in here looks like he's okay. I might need a little bit more soil in here with him. I'll make sure they're nice and in there, sturdy up, and everything. Okay. All right. So now what I have left is one jalapeno and three. Um, Poblanos. Move this guy over some. Move over there. I should probably move there. And then if I put this guy in the middle here, hopefully. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm gonna have to mix up some more soil. I don't think there's enough soil. I don't want to get them. I mean, my peppers look pretty good. I tried to do that thing where you pinch off the top so that they'll um, get bushier. I don't, I mean, it seems like it might have worked a little bit. I don't know how many times you can do that. Come on, out you go. Let's go. Come on. So this is the poblano. He looks pretty decent. Get some fat fill on him. Woo. He looks pretty decent. I think I'm going to need to make some more soil to get these poblanos potted up, though. I think I'll probably be putting stuff out in September when it starts to get into the 90s, you know, cooler weather. The 90s is cooler weather here. And um, that's when I'll probably put these guys out. So what I have to 
he goes there. These three are going to be, yeah, okay. So, that's tomato, tomato. Obviously, I know the tomatoes and the butternut squashes. I don't need to worry about which ones are those. And so, those two are the bells. This guy in the middle is the jalapeno. And these guys. Let's get some more. Then I'm just going to put them right back up on the uh, on the grow shell. It's like I want to make I want to make some stuffed jalapenos and some stuffed. Uh, poblanos. So let's see. I got one little eggplant too. So we got this guy, this guy, and this guy. And I think they look okay. What about baby? My dog just wants to eat. All the dirt. Come on. Okay. Got one there. Leave that dirt alone, Tom. And then this guy's good. Hard to get out of and see his roots growing through the bottom. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Him. Yeah, he's got some roots. But like I was saying, I want to try doing the um what is it? What is it? What is it? The, um, shoot. Why is it? I already said it once on the video. The, um, what are they called? The, uh, geez, why is the name escaping me? The, um, soil blocks. Look, now you got dirt on your back. I'm going to try using the soil blocks because you get the air roots with the soil blocks. And um, you have a better, with the air roots, from what I understand, it's a lot better for the plant. Not really sure why, but you yeah, know, I'll try and. Well, this weather is why I haven't had any videos up lately. It's just been, I mean, it's, it's so hot you don't even want to walk outside. It's just ridiculously hot out here. And um, you walk outside for two minutes and you are sweating. And I don't know, maybe as a gardener that shouldn't be a problem for me, but I don't know. That's just who I am. I've never liked the heat that much. And, uh, Especially when it's that hot. I don't like over 100 degree heat. Whew, I have just enough, just enough, just enough potting mixture. I, know, I feel like this guy needs a support. This, uh, this, this wayward bell pepper, I'm gonna give him a little bit more soil. See how he does. All right, so. That's everybody. Let me go get my hands a wash. Ah. Right back. Look at dude. So it's just a quick wash. It's not like I went under my fingernails or anything. So now, let me see. Do I want to put these guys out? Look how much on this messy seed starting tray. I'm going to set my. Oh no. Uh, damn. 
on you. So those are my poblanos. These are my um, bells. In the middle, so I want someone to know. Uh oh, no, that's right. Okay. And this is my one. No, my one hairpin. So I got. What I've got here is two hairpin, two poblanos, a jalapeno poblano, and two um, bells. The tomatoes are too tall, so. And then my. Squash is too sprawly. Look out, Madge. I wish you just wouldn't look out. That's one squash. And that's the small squash. This is the second to the smallest squash. You can hang it on here too. And this is the biggest one. No, that's not where, where is it? Come here, you. This is the biggest one, I think. Okay, here, and here. And these, um, these guys are all going this way. And it's like, is this going to be too much to put this hair on there? Alright, and then, so the big thing is the tomatoes, because they're getting tall. I know I can put this guy in here because he's small. Him back here, and he'll be okay. Um, what about how I do with these guys? Yeah, they're growing kind of wonky, too. Look how they're growing up, and now it's coming out this way. And I don't know if that's because they didn't have enough room to grow or. Growing cockeye. He said straight up. That's all I got. Okay. Well, that's where they're going. I got them all up here. They only need to be up here for maybe another two weeks until it starts cooling down some. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be good. Uh, anyway, I'm happy that you uh, joined me. Sorry, it's been three weeks, three weeks since uh, the last video. And um, this was not uh, the best video, but I got one out there. Next, I'm going to be, um, and I know I'm starting late, but it's hot out here, so maybe not too late. I'm going to um, start some, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the seeds for the brassicas, if I'm going to direct sow them or start them indoors. I'm going to put up hoops to keep bugs off of them. Stay tuned. We'll figure that out together. I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a good day. Bye.